a synopsis of Run, Lola, Run. Uh, it's a German th thriller film by uh, uh, Tom Teichver. Uh, it uh, is basically the story of a, uh, a young lady who gets uh, woken up by uh, her lover who's all frantic because he was uh, supposed to smuggle some drugs for, uh, I guess, the local drug cartel um, and then exchange the, the money for the drugs. And he accidentally loses the money on the subway uh, and then the movie takes us through the possible outcomes for the couple to come up with 100,000 Deutsche Marks uh, in 20 minutes, or uh, Manny's going to get whacked, so to speak, by the uh, the drug dealers that he lost the money. Um, takes us through uh, the cause and effects that Lola can go through and Manny can go through to in order to get this money, um, such as robbing a, a convenience store or going to, to family members to try and get the money and the positive and not so positive outcomes of, of these events. Um, and then in the end, um, all is well in your classical uh, Hollywood narrative film and they end up getting the, the 100,000 Deutsche Marks. And that's it. We go through uh, three different stories that even though they have a beginning and end, they are always kind of ending differently by uh, small influences in a movie, the outcome is completely different. Okay, so non-linear movies, um, they sort of take you through a, um, a story from multiple vantage points. Uh, they can go through flash-forwards, flashbacks. Um, usually they take place within a linear storyline um, and then they, they change items within the storyline to uh, give you a different perspective of what's going on. Not a linear movie. Hmm, I don't really watch it. Because <laughs> you have to pay too much attention. It's an example of a non linear movie. Let's pick the easy one and he's not that into you. An example of non-linear film uh, is Sin City, uh, basically takes you through the same story from uh, four people's different perspectives. Uh, it also goes um, forward and back in time where you get the, the early, um, early storyline from one of the characters and then it jumps forward for the other three later on in the film. Um, and then it sort of shows how they're, they co-mingle into each other's realities. classic Hollywood movie um, by the character of the movie you have a woman she's pretty and um, she's trying to help her boyfriend to solve uh, the issue he got um, run a little run starts uh, in equilibrium uh, then it runs through a, a series of goal-oriented events for Lola to save her, her boyfriend, Manny. Um, the only difference from the, the true classical Hollywood narrative is that uh, the, the single protagonist is a female in this case and the, uh, the damsel in distress, so to say, in the movie is, uh, is a male. Um, and in the end, everything ends up uh, back into equilibrium. An example of classic Hollywood movies could be uh, all of the Harry Potter movies. 
because they follow the adventures of the little boy called Harry Potter. Uh, usually, it, they kind of have a beginning, middle, and end, and you just kind of follow through. Um, and of course, the happy ending will be after the part seven. Thank you. Classic Hollywood narrative. Okay, so the classic Hollywood narrative would be the non-classic Cinderella story, Pretty Woman. <laughs> I guess classic Hollywood uh, narrative film would be uh, Batman. It uh, starts off with uh, your main protagonist uh, in Bruce, Bruce Wayne in this, or Batman. And uh, a series of tragic events happen, and then he, he rescues the girl, and then by the end of the movie, uh, evil is conquered, and we're back into a, a normal state of equilibrium. Run, Little Run is a cult movie because um, it's a short and simple movie that lends itself to uh, being recreated and, and manipulated by uh, its viewers. Um, also, it's using uh, te pop techno music that most uh, most people already know and they're familiar with the, s the sound. And it's, it's comforting to them that they understand uh, at least the background noise in the movie. My favorite, favorite cult movie is The Boondock Saints. Example of a cult film is The Big Lebowski. It's uh, one of the early Coen Brother films. Um, the reason it's a cult movie is that uh, it has a lot of references to, to California, um, early 90s culture, about how everyone's just sort of a laid back surfer. Um, they don't really uh, have an ambition to do a whole lot. Um, even the guy's character has become uh, so so well known around the world that there's, there's shops dedicated to the character, the dude in the film. Uh, other than that, it's just it's a, it's a really uh, simple movie that uh, it's, it's quite enjoyable. Thank you. My my little used abused apple come back to me so I can finally eat my snack. <laughs> <laughs>